So I flashed another custom ROM on the Redmi Note 5 Pro which is based on Android 10 and this is the Evolution X ROM and let me show you the version and stuff if you go into the settings then about phone and Android version the Android version is 10 of course this is the like Android 10 is red and the Evolution X version you can see from here is the version 3.0 for Wired or Redmi Note 5 Pro and this is the 22nd October 2019 official build. The security patch is latest October 5th, 2019 and the stock kernel is Illusion Plus kernel. Let me go back and in the system section we do have a system updater as this is an official ROM. You can definitely update it through this updater. And let me tell you the flashing is pretty simplistic of this ROM because this is just one zip file. You don't need to flash any separate micro GFs or something. So no need to flash anything separately. Just flash one single zip file which is the ROM file. And if you want to flash this ROM, you need to just make sure about two things that you are on Pi firmware and you have the Pi firmware supported delivered recovery. If you don't know what I'm talking about, here is a card for you. Just watch that video and you will get to know what I'm talking about. Now let's go to gestures. We do have the like gesture navigation over here of Android 10, but I can't simply use it because I'm using this uh, launcher over here. The stock launcher is launcher launcher as you can see and it has a lot of customization. So I have to use it or I am liking to use it. But let me tell you that there are no customizations in the UI as of right now. I mean no other except for this launcher. So I am forced to use this launcher and in the settings panel well and from this gesture panel you can use the gesture navigation but for that you have to go with some other launcher like pixel launcher or something but right now i'm using this two button navigation and it's been working out for me pretty fine let me show you the stock launcher again this is the stock launcher and to the left we have the google now cards and if you want to see the settings into the gestures we do have the double tap to sleep anywhere in the home screen so that is a good thing that you can just swipe down anywhere in the home screen to get to the quick settings panel you can double tap anywhere on the home screen to like make the phone into sleep and just notice the fingerprint scanner speed it is pretty fast no issues whatsoever with the fingerprint scanner if you talk about customizations let me show you one by one into the battery settings well here we have the battery percentage enabling option and no other battery icon or something is present over here but the battery life let me tell you is pretty decent you can get definitely five hours of screen on time or five plus hours of screen on time with this as you can see i have got two hours 34 minutes screen on time already and i have used the phone like quite for quite a while and i have 54 percent juice left so five and a half hours of screen on time is expected and if you go into the display settings we have the night light and stuff these works fine and then if you go into style and wallpapers you can change the styles over here as you can see you can even set a custom font and something from here so you have these options dark theme is there if you really enjoy dark theme you're gonna like love this settings over here i don't know what's happening what the hell it's like illuminati so i just switched off the dark theme and now screen timeout options are there you can set up to 30 minutes then we have the font size display size lock screen display is there and over here we have the like lock screen customization stuff and double tap what what's happening i don't understand everything is going like crazy so yeah we have these kind of bugs everywhere in the ui so do i recommend you flashing this rom to you guys as of right now hell no just check this out what's happening now as the settings and stuff are kind of bugged out let me show you some more things this power menu well if you tap and hold the power menu it will appear that you have power off restart advanced reboot and stuff like that but let me tell you that i have tried this rebooting to recovery fast boot and system ui well if you reboot to like anything over here this ui just freezes and like shows a black screen until and unless you press the power button press and hold the power button to switch on the device so even if i tap on restart it won't restart it will just switch itself off and whenever it i do that i see a lot of bugs in the like ui 
so do not restart or something in if you are flashing this rom still kind of buggy a lot buggy i don't know what's happening i think i have to like reboot the phone i'm just powering it off because there is that bug and double tap to wake is there but there is no double tap to sleep on the status bar and accent color option is there you can choose it to be black green ocean space orchid etc and body fonts option are there so four fonts you get or maybe five if you include the default so that's how it is and you can change the icon shapes to these many options let me go back and in the sound settings we have the screenshot shutter sound disabling option this was pretty annoying and you can disable the touch sound charging vibration sounds and stuff so these options are there but there is no me audio direct or something as of right now and vibrate for calls is there faulty calls do work super fine i'll show you the in call ui later on and if you are talking about customizations well we have a evolution settings over here so if you go into here you will think that you have a bunch of customizations here but never mind this is pretty much empty whichever settings i go into is pretty much empty even the power menu is empty gesture has this asp gesture which we will find in the like system so that's how it is lock screen navigation hardware buttons to this miscellaneous everything is empty over here so no customizations have been added as of right now but in the holy why everything is not bad let me tell you some good things the stock camera well we get the miui camera as default or stock camera here so that is a great thing in my opinion that you do get the miui camera by default so you don't need to worry about it and you can flash the gcam 7 if you want to of course and talking about google pay well it is not working it says google pay can't be used on this device at least by default i think if you want to get google pay working on this rom you have to disable the phone and sms app permission and that is how it is with most android 10 custom roms right now so yeah now let me open some of the apps and show you guys the app open up speeds and the ram management in this rom so open facebook twitter play store YouTube, Instagram. Now let's open all the apps from memory. As you can see, the app open up animations are pretty fine from memory, and even all the apps stays in memory. The app switching and stuff is pretty smooth, so no issues whatsoever regarding the memory management at all in this ROM. So this is how the stock in call UI looks like. As you can see, Vaulty calls do work, but there is no like call recording option or stuff like that in the stock dialer or the stock caller UI. And one good thing is you can disable the heads up notifications from here. Now let's talk about one more thing. Well, there is random reboots that I have noticed. Like suddenly when I was charging the device, the device itself was rebooting automatically. So yeah, random reboots are still a problem on this ROM at least that I can pretty much confirm. And talking about PUBG, you can play on HD and high settings. And here is the Android score of this ROM. So let me know in the comments what do you guys think about this ROM without customizations as of right now. But we do get the launcher launcher and MIUI camera by default. So that's a thumbs up from me at least. In day to day usage, I would say this ROM is quite fast. But I would say be careful about those random reboots and stuff like those. It is not quite stable yet to daily drive in my opinion. Thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Tiro from KDN Tech signing off for today. I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.